Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexander Lechin, Arvid Stobe. This is a game from a chess Olympiad, played in Hamburg, Germany, in 1930. Alexander Lechin had white pieces and he started with d4. Arvid Stobe played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit, e6, declined. Knight to f3, knight to f6, bishop to g5, knight from b to d7, both players are just following the main line. e3, bishop to e7, knight to c3, Arvid, Stobe, castle, kingside, queen to c2, c6, a3, rook to e8, rook to d1, a6, h3, h6, attacking the bishop, bishop to h4, d takes on c4, bishop takes on c4. Black to move. Arvid Tobe played queen to a5, b5, and knight to d5 are the two most popular moves. Arvid Tobe played queen to a5, Alehin castled kingside, c5, bishop to a2, c takes on d4. Why to move? Would you capture with the pawn or with the rook? Hmm? Alehin recaptured with the rook. b5, intending to play bishop to b7. Bishop to b1. What is the purpose of this move? Well, white queen would love to visit h7 square. After the defender of the square is forced to move somewhere else. But now, knight to f8. And h7 square is very safe. Knight to e4, knight to d5, bishop takes bishop on e7, rook takes on e7, knight to e5, rook to c7 attacking the queen, queen to e2, bishop to b7. Is black holding his ground or not? What do you think? White move. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Hmm? Alehin had his eyes on black king. He played queen to h5, queen to b6, rook from f to d1, b4, seeking the counterplay on the queen side. a takes on b4, knight takes on b4. That pawn on b2 seems to be a bit vulnerable, do you agree? Should this pawn be defended? And how or what white should do in this position? What would you do? This is a very interesting moment of the game. Please pause the video and try to guess the move that Alehin played in this position. What did you find? Alehin played knight to f6 check, sacrificing the knight. Pawn takes knight. If king goes to h8, queen takes on f7, threatening queen to g8 checkmate, and black is advised not to capture the queen because of knight takes rook checkmate. That is why Arvid's Tobe captured the knight. Rook to g4 check, knight to g6, white. Play the move when black resigned. The move is knight takes on g6. Black resigned in view of this continuation. F takes on g6. Queen takes pawn check, king to f8. Queen to g8 check, king to e7, rook to g7 check, mate. And if king goes to h8, then queen takes on f6 check. Rook to g7, queen takes rook, check, mate. And let's go back to this very interesting moment of the game. This is the position. I was only joking about defending the pawn. Did you find the killer move? If you did, congratulations. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.